in this third video of the USB firmware series, we are going to have a look inside the C code that I have developed. I will try to give some element where to start from in case you want to customize the code and use the firmware. But be aware that it will not be possible for time and reason to have a complete view. As some of you might know, and as I have explained in the part 2 video, the USB method is quite complex one. So for the code to implement it is indeed reflecting this complexity. If you like this video and you want to recognize my work, I kindly ask you to subscribe and to hit the bell. That means a lot for me. Let's start the review saying that I have used as base for my development the Atmel Start Vendor Middleware, available for the E54 MCU inside the Atmel Start Configurator. There you go. You go to USB Stack and then you have USB Vendor. And there you go. With this middleware, you get already the USB ASF4 driver as well as some other high level element as done. The challenge here was to reverse engineering the Atmel code. I say reverse engineering because in fact there is no documentation at all and customize it for MIDI purposes. Let's review, first of all, the configuration file inside the Atmel Studio here where you can find the USB version here, the vendor ID and product here and here. I left the Atmel ones. The string descriptor here and here for the device that you will see appearing in the Windows MIDI generic driver loaded by the OS after the enumeration phase. And this is the power configuration. And then finally we have the bulk in and bulk out endpoint configurations data here. Here we have address and size of the endpoint. Then we move directly to the protocol file which stands inside the MIDI device folder where you have all the specific macro, macro and structure for the MIDI class specification. For instance, jack in and jack out here, structures, and the bulk and point ones here. Then we have the MIDI specific descriptor here. And here is where I compose the data for the enumeration of the MIDI device. You can find the device descriptor here, then you have the config descriptor here, then you have the generic audio interface, the MIDI streaming specific one, again jack in and jack out, as you can see jack in can be embedded or external, jack out can be embedded or external, and then the endpoints descriptors here, sorry here, here, here and here and finally the string descriptors all of these are composed into this macro and are passed to the host to complete the enumeration then we go to the MIDI implementation file this is the file where the device is initialized and put at work here most important functions are for instance the enable one here where there is the code to enable the endpoints and verify that the action is correctly concluded and register the callbacks here and here. Other two very important functions are the read and write function that I'm using to send data and read the received one when the callback is fired. Finally, we go to have a look to the main file where I'm using all these elements to run the device. First of all, I am declaring here some structure to manage MIDI messages that are interesting for this implementation. So sysex, not on, control change, aftertouch, and pitch pen messages. Then in the main loop here, 
I'm checking if the ring buffer is empty. I have implemented two ring buffers here. One for Rx and one for Tx that are fundamental when you deal with a synchronous process. And if there is something in the buffer here, I check the first byte here, where in the MIDI class specification, this is used to specify the type of message. And then on the type of message basis, I call the dispatch message function. Dispatch message function here is literally the function where you, that you will use to make what you need to do with the messages. The last mention here is for the bulk out callback. This is the callback that is fired when there are data into the out endpoint coming from the host. And this is where I write the data straight into the ring buffer. This is all for this review. Thanks a lot and I see you in the next videos.